Now you can hear it there. The latest round of rain soaking many parts of the Bay Area this afternoon. That is making for slick and hazardous driving conditions out on the roads and the freeway. The weather, our big story this afternoon. Welcome everyone to The Four. I'm Alex Savage. And I'm Claudine Wong. The rain totals over the last 24 hours nearing two inches for some parts of the Bay Area. And there is more to come. We're joined now by meteorologist Roberta Gonzalez with what we can expect in the hours and the days ahead. I am referring to it as beneficial rains, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Venado has seen just about two and a half inches of rain just uh, 10 miles west of Hillsburg, and that'll do it, right? But we have more to come. Hi, everybody, and good afternoon to you. This is live data. It's our storm tracker, too, and it's picking up precipitation all over the Bay Area. In fact, let's go ahead and stop right here over that yellow area near Rio Vista. When you say yellow, on the TV screen. That's an indication of some pretty moderate rainfall at this particular time. You're seeing it just outside of San Ramon. It's lifting to the north. And then you see that other batch of activity between Hayward and Union City. Let's go ahead and traverse on over towards East Palo Alto. You are wet all the way through the Dumbarton Bridge. In fact, San Mateo Bridge also actually very slippery at this hour. You're seeing those hit and miss moderate rain cells now between Sunnyvale and San Jose. And as we go ahead and jog on over to the peninsula, Redwood City, you're hearing the raindrops on your rooftops. Also, Woodside and Portolo Valley, and many of these locations have seen well over a quarter of an inch of rain today alone. And SFO under the gun with plenty of precipitation after hefty delays earlier today. So you can see the big picture, but now let's go ahead and head on over to the Greater Lake Tahoe area. Lots of people asking. Is it snowing? What we're looking at at this particular time is the rain changing on over to sleet. And yes, a little bit of snow, but this is a warm system. As we take a look at our Storm Tracker 2 satellite imagery, we see that this area, low pressure, it's lifting and it will push out to the northeast, but way out yonder, out over the Pacific Ocean, we're taking a look at yet another area of low pressure that will keep us wet all the way through Thursday morning. That's right, you need your rain gear. You need that umbrella each and every day until the first day of winter arrives on Thursday. In addition to that breezy 15 to 20 mile per hour winds tonight with that chance of a clap of thunder, that rumble of thunder and also that uh, lightning strike is certainly possible. Another three quarters of an inch of rain to two full inches of rain slated for your Tuesday. Right now we're looking outdoors at a cloudy Golden Gate Bridge and we will update you with our totals for today and track the next incoming system. That'll all coming up together a little bit later in this broadcast. All right, that sounds good. The wet weather is just going to keep on coming this week.